Hey, this is Digital by Computing, and today we're going to talk about VMware's DRS and how it works. All right, so we've touched on vMotion, and we're now going to touch on DRS. So we did touch on that vMotion is a person manually moving a, ho a VM, which is this one here that we've moved, VM3. We've actually right clicked on that VM and we've said migrate vMotion essentially from one host to the other host and now that VM is sitting down here in the second host. You have to do that manually, all right? So that means that you have to be monitoring your hosts, monitoring the resources across your VMs. That can be a lot of overhead for monitoring those devices manually. So what DRS does is it'll monitor the resources, the, the CPU, the RAM, of your hosts of your VMs and will move VMs between your hosts completely automatically. You've got a conservative and then an aggressive sort of threshold. So generally, if you have your threshold down low, it will only move things if it really needs to, right? If, if it's only a must sort of a thing. If it's more aggressive, it'll move it when there's more fluctuations. You know, if, if there is just a little bit more fluctuation, it'll move that VM just out of a precaution. So you set that gauge. Generally, what I recommend customers to do is for them to just gauge how their DRS is performing. Start off on the conservative side, and if you're not seeing much activity, then move it further up the chain into a more aggressive side. Now, the other thing that DRS will do is if you power down a VM, so if I've got a VM here and I power it down, all right, I've just powered this VM down, all right, remember this VM could still be sitting physically on some sort of hard drive, whether if it's on here, or it could also be sitting on a SAN somewhere on your network. Once it's powered down, um, you power it back up, it's gonna ask you, where do you want that VM to go? It's gonna give you some recommendations as to where the VM should sit. So it may say, you can go onto VM1, into host one, or into host two, based on some predetermined uh, rules that you've got in your DRS. So I'd love for you to comment if you found this video helpful. Comment below and like this video. I would love to hear your feedback, and it also helps me build my channel also, and let me know what you think. We'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.